Hey everyone, this is JD from Kingdom 430. This guide was written by Abaddon from K524, but it was my idea, so he let me record the voiceover. We really hope you find it informative. In this video, we won't be covering any strategy or battle tips for during the crown invasion event, but rather how a king is crowned, their role for the next two weeks, and why it is important to choose an active king that helps the kingdom. First off, thank you to Pyro from K524 for sending us this awesome recording. It has everything needed to perfectly explain the role of king. Let's start off with the completion of KVK and assigning a crown. The R5 of the clan which held the throne is the only one with the ability to hand out the crown. It is important for the R5 of the KVK clan to be someone who the kingdom trusts and who will be online when the crown is secure. After the kingdom is secure, your kingdom has two hours to pick someone to be the king or the queen, or the R5 will be assigned the crown automatically. To assign a crown, go to the throne, click kingdom settings, click crown, then scroll down the list of clan members, click one, and click assign crown. Once this is done, congratulations, you're king. But as king of your kingdom, you have responsibilities for the two weeks that you hold the crown, which we will be outlining in this video. If you go to your throne and click crown status, then go to hall of kings, you can see all the previous kings from your kingdom. As soon as the crown is assigned, the player who becomes king will have their name, photo and accolade forever shown in the hall of kings, the exact same way as it was first added. From the throne menu, click Kingdom Settings to make changes to your kingdom. You can change the kingdom name, flag and castle appearance as it will be seen on the world map. From the treasury, you can view taxes, conquered kingdoms pay to your kingdom, as well as the resources given out to people in your kingdom from the treasury. Note, taxes are collected as trade fees when conquered kingdoms trade resources to other players within their kingdom. If you press the Great Hall icon, it will take you to the Kingdom Message Board, which can be clicked and changed by the King. Also shown will be the Kingdom Skills and Boosts, only able to be activated by the King. Some of these skills can only be activated if you conquered another Kingdom, and do note that there are cooldowns on all buffs. To activate, you need to use Royal Coins, which are obtained by rallying Red Guards. Up on the screen is a list of each skill and when you should use it as king. Anyone in the kingdom can view a log of what skills have been used in the past and by which king. Watch the number of coins available to make sure you can activate the building boom and all three troop training buffs, as they are seen by most to be the top priority. To assign a title or a KVK pack, you must view someone's Lord profile. As you can see from the video, after assigning a title, there is a small cooldown indicator next to it. Titles have a 24 hour cooldown, meaning once given, they cannot be reassigned for the next 24 hours. A list of the titles and their benefits are shown on the screen before you. It is the same process for assigning jail titles, which are basically a debuff. Assigning KVK packs is the same process through Lord Profile. For keeping your own kingdom, you will receive one Conqueror pack, five Defender packs, and three Royal Support packs to hand out to players. The King also receives a Conquer pack as soon as the crown is assigned, and also an additional pack per Conquered Opposing Kingdom. As seen in this video, Kingdom 524 kept their own kingdom and conquered both of their opponents, so they received the packs of the opposing kingdoms totaling 3 Conquer, 15 Defender and 90 Royal Support. Only one pack can be given to each player per Conquered Kingdom, meaning if you keep your own kingdom, you can only give one pack per player. If you keep your own and conquer one kingdom, you can give each player two packs until you run out. If you keep your own kingdom and conquer both opposing kingdoms, you can give up to three packs per player if you wish. Again, it is advised to give all Conqueror packs and Defender packs to the highest level players. Becoming king is something everyone aspires to get. It is the crowning, no pun intended, achievement of all Guns of Glory players. But with the addition of C45, things have changed. It used to not matter who received the crown. 
But with the addition of Marquis badges and the king also being assigned a conquer pack, it makes the most sense to only give crown to top players until they reach C44 and can train tier 13 distance, cavalry and infantry. While a kingdom should recognise the importance of all players, there is a cost associated with being strong enough to keep your kingdom and not lose it to invaders during KVK. An example of why crown rotation is a bad idea is that things like this happen, where a C30 becomes king and the Marquis badges are completely wasted instead of going to help a top castle get closer to C44. With Marquis badges costing an average of two US dollars each, the conga pack alone for badges is worth $180. That's $180 more that a top player can put towards statistics to keep your kingdom competitive and ready for the next crown invasion event. Also in the conqueror and defender packs is a wealth baron accolade, which greatly benefits players who spent. The accolade gives an additional 10% gold on each purchase pack for a period of seven days. On the subject of costs associated with crown, it is important to note that the strongest player will have to use gold and lots of it during the event, and also the tower holders. Regular players or fillers will also incur gold costs based on whether they decide to speed marches into buildings or not. This is not to say that the free to play players are not important, rather that top castles should be pushed first. For example, Dark Mystic already has all of his troop training buildings to 44, meaning he can already train all T13s and has no need to be king again. So Crown will only be handed to other players in Kingdom 524 to help them push to C44. This doesn't mean that top players no longer deserve defender packs. They should still be given them just for the Wealth Baron accolade, as it is still very helpful. Being king is not all just work. There is definitely some fun to have. King Speaker is a fun and useful tool to communicate with all kingdoms across Guns of Glory. Anyone can purchase a King Speaker in the store in game for 2,000 gold, but can only use it as king. To use emojis, type out a message in your chat, then copy and paste it to the King Speaker text box. Use responsibly. Some speakers are funny, some are annoying, but you can make enemies by being annoying or disrespecting other kingdoms. It's always a good idea to stay humble because you never know who you may disrespect and then match up with in events. And now for some tips for being the best king that you can be. If you can avoid it, don't use the king skill black market contracts to exchange coins for gold. Coins are much more valuable for you to use on buffs that benefit the entire kingdom versus taking a little gold for yourself. Next, Activate Guided Recovery as soon as KVK ends, if there were KVK losses, and again right before your next KVK begins. Activating this talent will allow free resource healing if you follow the steps in Abaddon's free healing KVK guide, covered in a separate video. If your kingdom has the extra coins, activate as many buffs as you possibly can right before KVK starts. The buff will continue until they're due to end, but the cooldown will be reset. Additional tip when it comes to Kingdom Coins, only deploy the 300% buff if your KVK fighters have taken losses, as this is the most expensive buff to activate. Tip, it's a good idea to assign a few players to keep track of those who actively help during KVK, to know who to hand out the packs to later. Otherwise, you will end up with a king only giving packs to their friends and not who actively helped in KVK. Pro tip. Set alarms for the buffs and when to activate them. There's nothing worse than waiting around for a king to log in and activate buffs during the gold event. That's it for today. If you found this guide informative, don't forget to like and comment. Subscribe to Abaddon524 for more helpful guides, KVK videos and Guns of Glory content.